The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Delaware Braves. Ching, it's good. Look. Those prints made by white man's horse. Uh, shoes fitted by a good blacksmith. White man's heavy boot. What do we do about this? We'll go to Fort Roberts and report it. Tilton, it's a plain case of murder. Those two Indians didn't have a chance. You may be right, Hawkeye. Perhaps those two Indians were shot by white men, but no chance to defend themselves. But I wonder if they were utterly without guilt on their own. What do you mean by that, Major? Do you know a town site called Tarrytown? Yeah, it's not far from here. Well, it depends upon what you would call far. At any rate, a merchant of that town, a Mr. Benjamin Stanwell, runs a supply store. Over a period, Three of his wagons have been robbed. One of his drivers has been murdered by Delaware Indians. That's not true. Delaware peaceful tribe. Make treaty. Not kill anybody. According to our reports, the contrary is true. Others have suffered also. You can scarcely blame some of them if they sought revenge upon those two Delawares you found. I'd like to hear more about those reports, Major. That's simply done. Ask Mr. Stanwell to come here, please. Yeah. I have reason to believe that Mr. Stanwell is an honorable man. He made a special trip here, alone, and laid certain charges, specifically against the Delawares. Major? Mr. Stanwell, I want you to meet these two men. Yes, they I are... saw them arrive. The one they call Hawkeye and Chingachgook. Mr. Sandwell, these two men question your charges that the Delawares are guilty of the crimes you say they committed. If the Major will allow me to put a question or two of my own to these men. Permission granted. I understand from the word around the fort that you've been away for the past three months, tramping. That's right. Have you paid a visit to the Delaware tribe since you returned? We go tomorrow. Then how do you know that the things that I say about the Delaware are not true? Delaware chief and tribe, my brothers. These things you say happened. How can you be sure they're Delawares? As I told the Major, I had a good description of them from the wagoners who came through the experiences alive. They were Delawares. Well, that's all, Mr. Stanwell. I'm sorry to detain you. I know you're on your way back to Tarrytown. Oh, well, thank you, Major. I'm truly sorry about this. I know how you must feel. You see, gentlemen. Do not tell truth. That's a serious charge, Chinzako. Major, the job of the Army is to keep peace in the settlements. You want every Indian tribe to be a friendly one. Of course. Ever think what'll happen if you're wrong about the Delawares? Blaming them for crimes that they're not responsible for? Well, Chingachgook and I know this territory and its people pretty well. Give us a week to learn what we can before you take any action against the Delawares. When you report whatever you find, even if the Delawares are guilty as charged by Mr. Sandwell, we 
give you our word, Major. Go ahead. Stanwell, not like Indian. Yeah, and he doesn't like Delaware's in particular. Must be reason. Yeah, we'd better learn what it is. We follow him to Terrytown? Later, maybe, but first let's talk to the Delawares. They're in a mood to talk and not wearing war paint. War. Fight. Kill. That's what Delaware do now. Time for talk is over. That not sound like great chief Black Fox, man of wisdom and peace. Two more Delaware braves killed by bad white man. Chief cannot stop braves of tribe. The Indians can't fight the white men. War is no good for anyone. White men kill, we kill. No good braves die for nothing. That's right, Black Fox. But your quarrel isn't with all white men, just the ones who are doing you harm. Delaware not know these men. What if we can find out who these men are? How many sons? Seven. Too long. How many sons it take young braves to reach happy hunting ground, if great Manitou not like battle in which they die? It is agreed. You have seven sons. If men not found by them, Delaware moves on war path. Kill all white people. I carry this word in your name. Fort Roberts, that way. Time for that later. We've got another visit to make. Well, Terrytown? Yeah, that guy Stanwell keeps sticking in my craw. I'd like to find out just what he's up to. All this kingly track of land. And at present, the Delaware Indians occupy it. We want them off of it. Blaisdell, as government land agent, you'll see to it that I, with my rather honorable reputation as land speculator, will be presented with the first opportunity to purchase that land at the very hour, the exact hour, the government repossess it from the Delaware. Ben, you got those Delawares so mad, they'll go out on the warpath. I think I've done what I had to do rather well, Mr. Johnson. And give them still more cause. If the Delaware goes on the warpath, the troops will step in. And once that happens, we'll be in clover. The Delaware will be put on a reservation, and all that territory put up for sale by the Indian Land Agency. And so far, the goose hangs high. Well, not as high as I'd like to see it. There's a man the Indians call Hawkeye. He might give us trouble. And get rid of him. It's as simple as that. Job's done. Good. Another one of Stanwell's supply wagons. Well, nothing seems to be missing. This Delaware mark. Yeah, it's a Delaware design, all right. Ching, it's good. You read what I read? That white man print. Indian walk like this. White man like this. This proof. Nothing but white man here. All right, boys, mount up. Wait a minute, Ben. Look. Pete, get that rope. Whoever did this year wants the Delaware Indians to be blamed for it. Stay where you are and don't move. Now, 
What are you two renegades doing here? Well, we were on our way to Tarrytown. We heard rifles. You're a liar. You and your Indians killed my men. It's a funny thing, Stanwell. You don't seem very surprised to find your men dead. None of you care enough to take a close look at them. We didn't have to. I didn't think you did. You and your men killed them. Make people think Delaware do this. Well, that's a pretty smart Indian you've got here. We tell Major at Fort Roberts. He believe. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Stanwell's too worried about that. Seems to me he has other plans for us. Excellent reasoning, my friend. I have indeed. I don't think the Major will object too much when we tell him that we hung the two leaders of the Delawares that did this. All right, men, bring them out here. We'll hang them. report back to Major Telton. Two more of my men killed. There's no doubt about it now, sir. That, that white renegade and his Indian friend are plotting an Indian insurrection. It'll be a full-scale war next. Unless you move against the Delaware Nation now, at once! Mr. Stanwell, you're not giving me orders, I'll let you know. I have no mind to move against the Delawares, as you suggest. Make up two details. Take charge personally. Bring Hawkeye and Chinatskook back, dead or alive. Yes, sir. They'll keep searching for us like that night and day until they prove something or we do. We prove first. We better hurry. Big hurry. Four sons gone already. Many strange visits tonight. Yeah, first the Indian land agent's office, and now in here. You know who lived there? Yeah, Ira Johnson. He's a land speculator. Meeting at this time of night with the Indian land agent and a merchant. I'd sure like to get an earful of what's going on in there. We know here so far. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Too much of a risk. That dog's barking might have alerted them. What we do now? I've got another idea. Contracts and obligations appertaining to relations between various Indian tribes and His Majesty's government. If the Delaware, at any time and for any reason, take up arms and attack a colonial settlement as an act of war, the lands on which the Delaware nation reside and all title and claim thereto shall be forfeited to the Crown. There you have it, gentlemen. The final step to be taken in our little plan. 
I don't think I quite understand, Mr. Johnson. No white settlement has been attacked by the Delaware. Not yet, maybe. But one will. At dawn tomorrow. Well, how can you be so certain, Mr. Johnson? In spite of all Ben's efforts, the Delaware haven't gone on the warpath yet. Nevertheless, he'll make that attack at dawn, Blaisdell. I guarantee it. How can you be so sure, Ben? How can you positively guarantee that the Delaware will... Oh, I see. You mean that you will... So? Now we're all in agreement. The risk is big, but our entire gamble is big, and we'll take it. Don't hurry about that, Mr. Blaisdell. Who are you? Never mind about that. I'd like to take a look at that book, if you don't mind. Book? Yes, that book that you got there in your hand. You, you can't look at this. It's government property. Government records are open to the people. I'm one of the people, and I want to see it. See what you have marked. Well, this is interesting. The Delawares take up arms at any time for any reason. The land on which the Delaware nations reside will be forfeited to the Crown. I not hear of that law. I reckon a lot of other people haven't either. Buried in a stack of writing. But I think it explains a few things. Thanks for your trouble. Can't have more than a five-minute start. Now, Mr. Blaisdell told you the way they went, so go and get them. Now, just one thing more. You've got two hours to do it in. After that, come on back. We have a lot of work to do before this night's over. Ashes are dead. It's an old fire. We've been out too long. Our time's up. Turn me. Circle the area. See if you can find tracks and in what direction they're leading. Then come back fast and join us. We're gonna move. Sure thing, Fitz. Come on. We make plenty tracks. He follows. What's your name? Turnley. One of Stanwell's men, huh? What's he got in mind for you? I don't know what you're talking about. You've got a job to do. What is it? Where do you meet Stanwell next? He must have been living alone in the forest too long. I'm not telling you anything. All right, Chingachgook. Give him the Mohican treatment. You're not going to do anything to me, Indian. No, wait a minute, Indian. When you get through with him, meet me back at camp. I don't want to watch this. No, no, wait. Wait, I'll tell you what you want to know. All right, what have you got to say? Stanwell's got us meeting back at Johnson's place in half an hour. How many are there? Six. All right, then what? Then we go to Kingstown. For a raid? That's right. Dressed as Delaware Indian? Right. Where do you get the Indian clothes? Stanwell got them. They're in the stable. Take him back to Fort Roberts. Tell Major Tilton where Stanwell is going. Tell him to arrest Blaisdell and Johnson. 
When's Stanmore coming, Fitz? He'll be right along. You know, it's going to be a cold morning. Not with all the shooting, it ain't. Everything all ready, Fitz? Right, Ben. Right, count the roll. Davis. Yeah. Rutledge. Yeah. Downs. Yep. Turnley. Yeah. Shepard. Here. Burrow. Here. Everybody mount. Kingstown's just through that timber over there. They all know what to do. Shoot into the houses. Do a lot of Indian war yelling. If anyone gets in the way, kill. Get out fast. All right. Maybe we better wait a minute, Stanwell. Wait for what? Well, these men have been doing a lot of shooting and killing for yourself and Johnson and Blaisdell. Now you're asking them to do a lot more. It's what you're being paid for and paid well. Now... Hey. Who are you? You're not one of our men. Hawkeye. That's right, Stanwell. Wasn't very wise of you, was it? Riding along with us like this, you're as good as a dead man right now. Well, Fitz, take care of him. We lost enough time already. All right, men. On to Kingstown. Under arrest! Every man stop his rifle! From this day on, we both will live in peace, in greater friendship and understanding. Hawkeye, friend of Delaware, receive gratitude of my people. And mine. I certainly wish I had you in my army. You are sure you won't consider my offer? Well, I... I... I'm afraid I like the woods too much. Maybe someday I'll settle down, but as long as there's fish to catch and game to hunt and new land to see, you understand, Major. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> Aranya. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>